Welcome to South Florida Saltwater Fishing. I'm Heath and it's time to get into the bite. Dolphin in the boat, baby! You having fun? Nice tailfish on a white buck tail jig. Alright folks, in this episode we're going to go over how to choose the right rod for your spinning rig. Before we get into this though, if you want to learn more about fishing, grab us an angler, to see some great and exciting offshore fishing adventures, you can start by hitting the subscribe button. And don't forget to turn on the notification bell so you won't miss a thing. Okay folks, so like I said, we're going over how to choose the right rod for your spinning rig. We're gonna get right into this. We're not gonna beat around the bush. We're going over just what is important when selecting your rod. The number one factor for when you are selecting your rod for your spinning reel is balance. If you don't have a nice balance between the reel and the butt of your rod and the extended guided part of the rod, fishing can be an odd experience where it seems very unnatural and sort of clunky and unbalanced. So when I'm talking about balance, I want to show you exactly what I mean, just so that there's no movie magic going on here. This is the rod. The rod is a Penn Battalion rod. It's a seven foot rod. It is coupled with a Penn Spin Fisher V a 5500. This rod is rated in the 12 to 20 pound class. All these things are going to come into play in a second. So if I'm wanting to figure out is this rod balanced good for my reel, what you're going to do is right at the front of the lock for the reel, right behind the second handle, the top handle, you're going to put your finger right there. And if it balances right and holds steady without you having to sort of twist and turn or do anything, you've got a nice balance between your rod and your reel. Okay, so that's how you check the balance of your rod. You simply put it right there and you're balanced, cool. So you say, why is this balance important? What the balancing does is it creates a symbiotic relationship between the rod and the reel. There's a natural comfort zone where this balance is important. It doesn't create this clunky, sort of unnatural, and as I said before, unbalanced use. This balance is very important to the natural physical attribute of the rod doing what it's supposed to do with the reel that it should be coupled with. And the next key factor to choosing the right rod for your spinning reel is its pliability. This is also known as shock absorbency. What is shock absorbency and pliability and why is it important in a rod? Well that's what's going to help you set the hook and it's also going to keep you from yanking the hook out of the fish's mouth when you get a strike. Most of your rods that you're going to want to select for a spinning reel will be light to medium action. This particular rod is right in the middle of light and medium. It's known as fast action, which allows me to do several different tactics with one rod. I can take this rod out and I can do yellowtail fishing with it. I can take it out and troll with it over to shallow reefs and catch a nice mutton snapper with it. I can take it out and troll deep and catch nice tuna with it. I can pitch out bucktail jigs and catch mahi on it. This setup is so balanced that it's good enough to handle even sailfish. And now for a little bit about the technical science behind what fishing rod manufacturers do to make them balanced for your specific reel. So somewhere on your fishing rod, it has specs that label what line and what lure weight you can use. So why is this important? Well, that helps you decide what size reel. Certain size reels, you don't want to put really light line on. Let's say you have a Penn Spin Fisher 8500, which is a bigger reel than the 5500. You want to put something more like 20 pound monofilament on that. On this reel, I have 12 pound monofilament on it. So what I'm getting at is the size monofilament line that you put on your reel directly correlates with the pound test class of the rod. Like I said, this rod is 12 to 20 pound class. My spool of line is 12 pound monofilament. And that's just a little bit about the science between the correlation of your line that you're going to put on your reel and the perfectly balanced rod for it. 
All right, and so those are what I consider to be the best tips and advice I can give when it comes to selecting a rod to couple with your spinning reel. All right, now we're going to head out on a boat, have a little bit of fun, and show you what this perfectly balanced rod and reel combo looks like in some live offshore action. What I'm going to try to do is get back into the thick of those birds and see if I can sight fish one of these up. Have a little bit of fun. I got my half ounce white button tails from Trojan. we're going to be fishing with is gear like this this is a pen battle 5000 spooled with 20 pound braid and then i've got a 50 foot top shot of 20 pound uh fluorocarbon leader on it and at the end of it we have our three quarter ounce white bucktail jig from spro this is on a seven foot pen battalion rod rated for the 12 to 20 pound class so what we're going to do is we're going to cruise over to one of these selected weed patches, which there are many of, see if we can find some mahi hanging around them and get into the bike. Oh, I just had one following me. Oh, there he is. They're following me. They're out there. Here we go. We're going to go again. Remember, as fast as you can. Oh, they're over here. They're over here. Look. Oh, you're on! You're on! There you go! Bye. Okay. Told you we'd find some dolphin, right? You a believer in these spro jigs? All right, here. I want you. When'd you do it? Get them back over. Here. Hold up! Hold up! Up! Oh, the almacos are. Bring your reel over here. Oh. We just threw out a spro jig and we got a dolphin. Here we go. We're gonna see if we can get him up and over the rail. <laughs> dolphin in the boat. First one of the day. So we headed offshore today. We're in about 400 feet of water. What we're gonna do is we're gonna do some light tackle trolling with a white bucktail jig, half ounce spro jig. And we're gonna troll it on a pen spin fisher 5500 on a seven foot battalion rod rated for the 12 to 20 pound monofilament class. What we're gonna do is we're just gonna troll around, do some blind trolling. Hopefully we'll run into some tuna, maybe some false albacore, and if we're lucky, maybe a mahi. Who knows? So when we're trolling the scrub jig, all we're gonna do is kinda take it out, let out about 150 feet or so of line. There's little scattered weeds all over, so we more than likely will be pulling them off periodically just to clear the line and keep it and see if we can get it in that bite. All right, we're up and rolling. We're bobbing and weaving in between about four and 500 feet. We're gonna see if we can get the hook up. Oh man, he is taking off. Look at this. Oh, there we go, he's out there jumping. Out there jumping, yeah, look at him go. Look at him go out there. that he's hooked. Well, like I said, we're trolling a spro jig. We're having a good old time and I just wanted to show the effectiveness possibly going out for a tuna or something. We got hooked into a billfish. Crazy. Here he comes. I see him. Got him right up to the side of the 
boat right here. Jig. I'm not going to go out very far, maybe about 75 feet with this one. We'll get you out the second line. Put this one out about 50 feet or so. Not very far. So this is Patrick trolling. Skinny, shallow water trolling. In between, you know, 5 and 15 to 20 feet of water. This is what I mean right here. You got the bright green and the dark blue. We're gonna troll our lines right in between this stuff. This is where the fish are gonna hide. Right over here from the sand to the coral. We got Abby on a fish. See what happens here. Getting up closer. So that was some good old fashioned fishing fun. Headed offshore, like I told you. Tuna, mahi, sailfish, mutton snapper. A perfectly balanced fishing rod and reel combo is only going to help up your fishing game. All right, folks, that about does it for this episode. Hope you had fun, hope you enjoyed, and I hope you learned a little bit about how to pick the perfect rod for your spinning reel. Till next time, South Florida saltwater fishing. Going wherever the cool wind takes us.